Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do my very first fashion video on this channel. I feel like most people who follow me on YouTube probably don't know this, but my start on social media wasn't actually with YouTube. It was in middle school when I decided to start a fashion blog. I blogged regularly up until sophomore year of high school and then that's when I started YouTube and I kind of moved all my stuff over to here but my love of fashion never really faded I still love dressing up and for a long time you guys have requested like a fashion type video I figured I would do a lookbook focused around the thing that my life is currently revolving around which is school fall quarter starts for me on September 19th and I wanted to share with you guys a quick little lookbook of 10 cute back to school outfits for the season. They require about 10% of your effort and they look 100% great. So personally for me, I love putting together a cute outfit, but I also don't like things that are super high maintenance to wear. So I wanted to focus on creating outfits with pieces that are pretty easy to find and just really easy to throw on. You don't really have to like drape things artfully or anything. So I'll be rocking these outfits up until about like week four of my quarter when um, all my effort will just go down the drain and I'll just start wearing sweats every day. But seriously, having on a good outfit and just putting my best foot forward gives me a little extra boost of confidence and I feel like it can really help me academically just to feel good and to do better. So step into my closet and of course if you want to try out any of these looks you don't need the exact pieces I'm wearing. It's just to kind of give you an inspiration so if you, you absolutely do not need to and you probably should not go and buy every single one of these pieces just to create one of these outfits because that's wasteful but this is mainly just for like styling inspiration and stuff. You know, lookbooks. It took me two whole days of filming but it was definitely very fun so I hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, Stepping in my closet. Okay, but first let me um, change my makeup into something I would actually wear to class. There we go, brown. <laughs> this face is actually a pretty accurate representation of what I would wear to school for my makeup. Other than the lashes, I would definitely not wear these like lush lashes, but you know what? It's dramatization. Girl Next Door. This one's kind of a breezy, summery little outfit, and I just think it's really cute. I love it because it makes me look taller, personally. I also love it because it's super easy. Like, it looks really, really complex, but it's seriously just a shirt and a skirt that I put on, and they look really good together. This is my favorite denim skirt from ASOS. Just does that annoying thing that all girl skirts do, where the pockets are fake. I don't know. This yellow polka dot top is from Forever 21. I bought it because it looked like something that I thought Eggy or like Reformation would sell. Really cute. Just some dainty accessories to go along with it. I personally won't be caught dead without like a wedge or a heel, but if you are taller than me, you can probably do this with flats. The next outfit I affectionately dubbed the Caitlyn because it's inspired by this outfit that my one of my best friends in the world, Caitlyn, always wears. It's just 90s fashion rolled into one weird outfit and I love it so much. I love wearing a good cropped cardigan as a shirt. It's like a more conservative version of a crop top, basically. And I've been loving these kind of straight cut plaid skirts that have been going around lately. It's very 90s. The most integral part of this outfit is to pair it with some chunky white sneakers. Personally, I bought mine in Japan, but Fila Disruptors are a really good swap if you want to use something that you can actually like get here. <laughs> and then for accessories, for the aesthetic, I paired it with my Jacquemus bag, which is one of the stupidest bags I've ever bought. It's so small, you can't fit anything in there, but it's so cute, so don't attack me for it. But on a more realistic day, I'd be carrying around my Teddy Blake bag. They sent this to me in PR. I used it as my hospital bag when I had surgery, and now it's kind of become my relegated school bags. This is the Adele Vitello in black and red. It looks really similar to like a Mansa Gabriel bag. I pay attention to stitching, especially on my school bags, because I haul around literally everything under the sun. But this bag fits my laptop, my notebooks, my pencil case, my makeup, my hydro flask, and pretty much everything else with room to spare. This one's kind of the most obligatory college girl outfit, but if you don't have a UCLA Letterman like I do, you can definitely swap this out for like a big chunky cardigan, a jean jacket. It's kind of just the silhouette that you're trying to mimic. I love layering a more slouchy casual jacket over like a sundress that I would wear in summer. This gingham one was one of my favorites during summer, but I like covering up a little bit with a cute jacket. And of course the white chunky sneakers because why not? Showing some school pride for my colors with the yellow scrunchie, of course. But yeah, this outfit kind of screams, I stole this jacket from my boyfriend and I'm not giving it back. This one's a bit more dressy, but it's one of my favorites. I'm a lover of all blush pink and this one is just so aesthetically pleasing. I got this blush pink corduroy skirt from Brandy Melville, one of my favorite pieces that I own. This eyelet top from Madewell with the flared sleeves is just such a breezy piece. It's somehow dressy and casual at the same time, which is just my aesthetic for some reason. 
And then this little blush pink bag by Melly Bianco. It looks like a Celine bag, but it's not. And even though it is small, it's not as obnoxiously small. It's a Chaka Mousse bag, so it, you know, actually fits things in there. <laughs> and of course, wedges, because I wouldn't be caught dead without them. Because I'm five foot zero, you guys. <laughs> Ah yes, here I am, your literary professor. <laughs> Seriously though, this is kind of edging on the art ho aesthetic, but I love it. Again, I'm all about texture, so when I saw these BDG corduroy pants, and they actually fit me, which like never happens, I, I was so in love. love, and you can actually wear these with like pretty much anything you wear jeans with. To sell the whole like professor fantasy though, I had to go with this kind of like sweater vest-esque tank top from Forever 21, but it's like a little bit of a sexy professor thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if these are more combat boots or hipster boots, but either way, they're from ASOS and I love them. And then the finishing touch are my Key and Desi Perkins glasses, because queen. God, I love this one. It's angsty but colorful at the same time. One of my favorite things to do is taking kind of like colorful, almost like childlike pieces and then pairing them with a bunch of punky things to kind of dress them up and make them look different and edgier. So this overall dress from Forever 21 is one of my favorite things to wear with just basic t-shirts sometimes. But today I paired it with this rainbow top that I found at Urban Outfitters. Again, kind of making this childlike thing very edgy to really sell out my favorite black Forever 21 booths. They're kind of banged up, but that's because I love them so much and I wear them everywhere. <laughs> And then there's my school bag again because I love the black from the waist down aesthetic. Your literary professor is back and she has overalls now. I really only like this outfit because I feel very tall when I wear it, but burgundy is such a fall staple color for me. This striped turtleneck sweater matches the colors of the overalls so perfectly. And again, I'm such a texture person, so the corduroy on these overalls really just brings the outfit to the next level. And oh my god, the pockets are real this time! It wouldn't be a professor outfit if I wasn't wearing the Key and Desi Perkins glasses, of course. And then for shoes, I really just picked the tallest, blockiest heels I own, which are these Tory Burch ones. Not because they're the best shoes with this outfit, but because I am too lazy to get this hemmed, so I'm too short to wear anything else with it. <laughs> Clearly I love yellow, this next outfit might be pushing it a little bit far, but you can definitely do it with just the turn, like if you don't want to wear the lace bodysuit. I just think it adds a little bit of extra texture and fun to the outfit. But when I saw this bright yellow skirt, I knew it was made for me, but I really was not sure how to style it. And whenever I'm not sure how to style something, I kind of just take it back to basics. Putting on a black turtleneck with it really, really helps me kind of get the vision back. But just for some extra texture and a little bit of spiciness, I added on this lace bodysuit that I wouldn't wear in public in any other context. And then of course those black boots just to tie in the almost all black outfit aesthetic. Bumblebee, but make it fashion, you know? Ah, layering. My favorite thing to do to take my summer clothes into fall as long as I possibly can. I'm sure if you've been watching my channel for more than five minutes, you've definitely seen the infamous cotton ball sweater. This huge ass chunky cardigan is from Morning Lavender. I love it with my entire heart. It's the coziest cocoon of warmth I could ever ask for. Today I layered it on top of this summer tank top, and it just takes on a whole new tone if you know what I mean. One of my favorite ways to wear crop tops to school without like, you know, showing my entire belly button to everybody is to add on some high-waisted jeans. AG makes my personal favorite jeans in the world. They just look really great on my butt. And then once again, I think outfits look really good when you just wear black from the entire waist down. For me, it just makes me feel kind of taller, slimmer, and just kind of badass, you know? All right, and then the last outfit, if you can even call this one an outfit. This one's for when I overslept and I wanna look completely comfortable, but not like I didn't try. So I just take an oversized sweatshirt dress. This is actually a men's sweatshirt that I stole from an ex and I will never give back. Adding on some gold accessories really helps to take it from like an I'm accidentally wearing this to class to like I planned this outfit out, which is great because I sleep in my choker and my earrings. So I could kind of just roll out of bed and roll into class like this. And then of course the coup de grace of this outfit are these holographic sneakers from Fashion Nova. They are so wild, but they look really cool with pretty much anything and I always get asked where they're from. And yeah, that's the last outfit. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little 
back to school lookbook. What I really love about all the outfits is that they're all distinctly different. They all have like kind of different vibes, but they're all really my style. And I have so many different like moods I like to channel through my clothes. So yeah, I hope you will join me in putting your best foot forward for your first days of school. For those of you who have already started your semesters, oh my God, I'm so sorry. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed down below and also follow me on Instagram to see makeup and fashion like this one posted periodically and if you made to the very end of this video you yellow shiny sunbeams you get the bonus meme love you bye